Hey guys, it's Sarah from ExtremeTerrain.com and today we have a review and install of the PowerStop OE brake pad and rotor kit for the front, fitting your 07 through 18 Jeep Wrangler JK. This full front brake kit is a direct upgrade to your OEM and includes brake pads and rotors. This kit features non-directional vented iron rotors as well as ceramic compound pads for maximum braking performance with minimal noise and dust. Coming in at around $80, if it's time to do the brakes on your Jeep, this is a budget-friendly way to get it done. I'm giving this install a 2 out of 3 wrenches on the difficulty meter. This kit features direct bolt-up installation and can be done in approximately 2 hours. With that said, let's jump right into our install. For this install, we used an impact gun, a ratchet, 21mm socket, 13mm socket, a skinny 15mm wrench, a caliper hanger, a caliper tool, cutters, needle nose pliers, and a pick tool. So if this is the first time taking your rotors off, you will need to remove the metal retainers on these studs. These are just on from the factory to keep the rotor on while they're assembling your Jeep. Using a pick tool and a needle nose, pry under the tabs to remove it. Now you'll likely mangle these getting them off, but they do not have to go back on. Once you get behind this metal retainer, you can grab some cutters and just snip these if they're fighting you. They don't always like to come off easily. So at this point we can remove our caliper. It may help to turn this assembly a little bit to get better access to the two bolts on the back side. Using a 13 millimeter socket and a skinny 15 millimeter wrench, remove the bolt holding the caliper to the bracket. Repeat that with a lower bolt. Grab a caliper hanger tool or a bungee cord. We're just gonna put this to the side so we can hang our caliper once it's off. But with the bolts out, grab your caliper and rock it loose. Might also help to pop this cable out of its bracket here so you have a little more room on the caliper. Remove the pads. Next up, we're gonna remove this line from the bracket right at the back here to give us better access to our caliper bracket bolts. With a 21 millimeter socket, remove both bolts at the back of your caliper bracket. So our rotor came off fairly easy. If yours doesn't, you can definitely take a rubber mallet and just hit right back here where the caliper used to sit. But since ours is already loose, grab it and remove it off the Jeep. All right, now that we have our factory pads and rotors uninstalled from our Jeep, we can put them side by side with the PowerStop kit, really check out some of the similarities and differences. Now, as I've said before, the PowerStop kit is a direct OE replacement, so it's gonna be nearly identical to your factory pads and rotors. So this is a great way to service your Jeep while keeping a little bit of money in your pocket for some additional mods. With that said, let's get these installed on our Jeep. All right, so before you install the rotor on your Jeep, you do want to hit it with a little bit of brake clean just to clean off the factory oils that come on it. Also, just give it a wipe with a paper towel just to clear off any residue. At this point, we can install our new rotor, line it up with your studs, We're just going to grab a lug nut and throw this on just to hold it on there for safety while we get the rest of our caliper bracket installed. So at this point, just take a look at your sliders and the metal clips that are on your caliper bracket. Make sure everything looks good and is sliding properly how it should. And if something looks off, you will want to replace it at this time. It is nice that PowerStop included some extra metal clips and grease for if you want to replace these. Either way though, you should dab a little bit of grease on the inside of these metal clips so your pad can slide back and forth nicely. But once it's good to go, let's line it up and get it bolted back onto our Jeep. Slide it over your rotor and line it up with the two bolt holes on the knuckle. Grab your larger bolts that you took out earlier, 
and get them lined up. Grab your 21 millimeter socket and tighten this down. Now we can install our pads, line them up with the metal clips, pop them in, and the back one is going to be the one with the feeler on it. Put the pad in the bottom tab and then slide it in the top one. At this point, we can unhang our caliper. Grab your caliper tool. We need to push in the center puck in a little bit in order to clear our brake pads. With the center puck pushed in, it can now clear our brake pads and line up with our sliders to get this bolted down. Once the bolt hole is lined up on your caliper to your slider, replace the bolt. With a 15 millimeter skinny wrench and a 13 millimeter socket, tighten these down. Clip the sensor line back into the brackets on your brake hose. And also clip it back into the bracket right past your knuckle. Now you can repeat those steps on the other side. Make sure when you're all done to go back over and torque your caliper bolts and bracket bolts to spec. And before you drive, pump your brakes to seat the caliper against the brake pads. But that is gonna do it for the review and install of our PowerStop front brake kit. Remember, for all things cheap, keep it at extremeterrain.com.